subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Curly on the Cob, and of course, in this video, as you know, you'll be seeing me do my hair color, which you just did, which was just on uh, sorry, I forgot to color blue black uh, hair color from Sally's. All products, tools, everything will be listed below in the description box. I'm trying to hurry up and talk before the actual cutting starts. So, a few things. If you've never cut your hair before, please take your time. Please cut less hair than you want because you can always go back and cut more. But if you mess up, it's gone. Okay? I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I do have a cutting background. Color, coloring background, hair background, lashes, everything. So I do know a little bit of what I'm doing. If you have any questions, not about cutting, about anything, please feel free to leave that either in my description box. If you follow me on any social medias, you can ask me. I will always answer, or I always try to answer. Okay, so let's get into this cutting tutorial before I actually start. So, what you want to do is, sorry, I'm starting now. <laughs> so, what you want to do is part your hair from the center all the way to the nape of your neck. Oh, also, side note, if you don't like a V-cut or a U-shape cut, and that's how your hair is going to look at the ends um, when it's all in the back, if you like a blunt cut, this haircut is not for you. I'm sorry. It's kind of impossible to do a blunt cut on yourself uh, unless your hair is super, super long and you can uh, reach it in the back or it's really short and it's easy to cut. When you have kind of like medium to long length hair, it's really, really near impossible to get a blunt cut on yourself because you have to cut all of your hair in the front. Unless you're very, very skilled, I'm sure there are some people out there who can cut all the hair in the back, but I can't. So this is going to be a V-cut, which I really like, because it looks like layers without actually having to cut layers. So if you also like that look and you want to keep your length, this haircut is for you. Um, this haircut is, is pretty suitable for all curl types. If your hair is super, super, super curly and it you have a lot of shrinkage, I would, I would definitely advise you to stretch your hair first, but if you don't want to apply heat, this is the way to cut your hair. Okay, so as you can see, I parted down the center. I gathered each side in the middle of my chin. You want to make sure that that elastic is secured in the middle of your chin. Then you want to just comb out the hair, make sure everything is through the elastic, make sure everything is flat, as flat as you can get it, and then between your fingers, you just want to cut um, as much as you want to cut, as much hair as you want to cut. I'm cutting about a half an inch. I never really have to cut too much hair because I do give myself, um, sorry, I can't even talk. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do give myself routine trims about every four to six weeks so i am just showing you how i trim my hair but if you actually want to do a full-on haircut you can also do a full-on haircut with this method so after you cut your desired length of hair you want to take the elastic out but still keep your two separate sections and i have just turned my head to the side pulled my hair straight down and checked across making sure everything is even and that side of course wasn't even so I just touched it up, uh, dusting the ends that were still, you know, poking out a little bit. And also on this side, as you can see, from left to right, the shortest guide. The shortest guide is the shortest piece of hair. That's usually the hair that you cut originally. When you cut your hair in, in a big, you know, kind of chunky ponytail like that, sometimes it doesn't come out even. It's okay. You just want to make sure you do this step. You turn your head to the side, drag your comb straight down, and check just to make sure it's even straight across. So, if you are not interested in having a slight angle, a slight fake layering in the front, you can skip this step and just do the ponytail. And then check it. This step is for people who want a little bit more shape in their hair. Um, whether it's straight or curly, this will give you a tiny bit more shape in the front. It will help you feather your hair back if that's the style you like but it'll also help you keep your length. 
So what you want to do is make sure that your two sections in the front are parted from the top of your head to the top of your ear. And you want to make sure they're balanced and even on both sides. So you'll see me keep going back and, and checking both sides, making sure I have roughly the same amount of hair. And I think I do now, so I'm just tying the back section away and re-wetting the front. That's just water and a tiny bit of leave-in conditioner. So I'm just making sure that my hair is staying pretty damp through the whole process to make sure everything is even. So I'm just combing out my hair right now. I'm tying away the right side and I'm going to start with the left side. This haircut is really easy, but it's, it's easy to get carried away and to get overconfident because I've done it. So just please take your time and watch carefully, watch more than one time. So the shortest guide you see there is at the bottom. You're going to cut to that guide. That is going to ensure that your haircut, you don't, how can I explain? You don't want to cut a hole in your haircut. You want the back to still match up with, with that shortest guide. In the front, it's not really short, that's just what we call it, it's just the guide that you need to use. And again, on this side, you can't see because, you know, when you're using your left hand, it's a little bit more challenging, but I just cut from the shortest guide. And then as you can see, the hair in the front, the shortest goes longest to the longest point in the back. So here, what I'm doing is I like to drag my hands on both sides of my hair. And if they fall out at the same time, I know my hair is even. But if one if one hand, you know, is still still dragging along there and the other side already fell out, I'm in a little bit of trouble because my hair is not even. But it's a quick fix. Um, so yeah, if you're confused by anything, if something didn't make sense, if I went too fast, please feel free to leave me a comment and I'll be glad to clarify this haircut because it's really simple. And if you've had bad haircuts in the past, like I've had, and you're fed up with people messing up your hair, please follow my guide. Or there are so many um, do-it-yourself haircut videos on YouTube, so if this one doesn't work for you, there's a hundred more. Do your research. Um, but I also always recommend at least getting a consultation from a professional to see, you know, darn it. Sorry, guys. I'm recording on my computer and I completely forgot about that, but, um, where was I? Yes, make sure you get a consultation from a professional, professional, jeez, talking for a long time, <laughs> you start to mess up your words, but make sure you get a consultation just to at least know, okay, what kind of hair you have, what kind of shape will work for your face, etc. Um, so thank you so much again for watching. Please share my videos. Please remember to like them, give them that thumbs up, and subscribe. If there's anything else you want to see me do to my hair, again, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll gladly put up that creative content for you. Um, so yeah, now I'm just braiding my hair. And that's usually how I wear my hair to bed is either in two or four braids most nights. It's the easiest. Uh, so yeah. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.